Hello, welcome back everybody to season two of Claude and Mr. Old Man. This is episode two. I'm Claude, hashtag Mr. Bacon, hashtag Barbecue 12, and this is... I'm Norman, better known as Mr. Old Man. And today we will be going to Fired Up Barbecue located in Cartersville, Georgia. Um, found it on my way back last year from uh, Kentucky. It was, it was nestled away behind a little gas station and I was riding through Wendy's and I saw the sign I was like man let me go check that out so uh, went around kind of looked at it It was the middle of the night looked like a good spot so I uh, said we'll go up there this year so Mr. O'Man did any research on it? Did I do any research on it? Yes sir. No I didn't. Okay so we don't know what the reviews are or anything like that but we're gonna go and we're gonna review it ourselves and um strap up and let's go we'll let you know what's going on and i'm ready to eat right now well with that being said i am next year i'm just going to propose that we, we stop the whole valentine's day thing because i'm tired of america and not america but just the marketing in america with the way they do all these holidays um, they want you to spend money on every holiday for what don't get me started Everything's commercialized now. It used to be, especially Valentine's Day and Christmas, it used to be you give things from the heart. And now it seems like it's all commercialized and they force you to buy something. I'm 100% in agreement with you. So, I, you know, I just don't want to do it. I'm going to get some clarification on it first. But I think we're doing it. Okay. I don't want to see that. <laughs> no, man, I mean, you know, we... I will come and visit you in the hospital. <laughs> yeah, think about it. How much did you spend? Well, I didn't... Well, I take that back. Now, I got her a gift certificate, too, to, to Barnes & Noble's bookstore. Uh, so, uh, about $100. See? For what? <laughs> what exactly. do you mean for what? I, I, Valentine's I, I, Day. <laughs> right, because somebody else said you should go out and spend money. Yeah. Money that you probably wasn't planning on spending. Money, that's $100 in February that you wouldn't have spent anyway. Well, that's true. That's okay. very true. You know, so, so I think instead of uh, doing like Valentine's and spending on something material, I want to take the money that I would have spent, and we're gonna invest in something. Bar thing. Barbecue, barbecue. <laughs> That's good investment. Great investment. Every, you can't go wrong with that. Well, not only that, it used to be, and I'm, of course, I can't hardly remember back, you know, that long ago, but <laughs> but it used to be. Uh, You'd give a card, flowers, and then you'd go out to dinner, to the movies, you know, and have a, you know, have a good evening out. And now it's all, like I say, commercialized. You, uh, you spend money, and you spend that money just to get the material objects to give them, and you don't have any left over to go out and do anything. Okay. You will get no arguments out of me. You know, it's... It's one of those things that's become so popular, it's not even an enjoyable experience anymore because you go to the restaurants, they're crowded, the wait time is forever, the movie theater's crowded, so I mean, yeah. it's just so commercialized that you can't, it's more frustrating to participate in the day than it is to enjoy the day. That's true. You say you're not getting an argument out of me on that either. So we're at Fired Up Barbecue with the owner, Bill. How you doing this morning, Bill? I'm good, good. How you guys today? We're doing good. Thank you for having the time, taking the time out of your day and meeting with us. I know we're probably at a little inconvenient time, but it really means a lot to us. Thank you, sir. Sure, glad to do it. So tell us about your restaurant. Well, we've been here uh, going on two years almost. Started out in a food truck and cooking barbecue all my life. Used to compete back in the 90s. 
just had a passion for barbecue and uh, retired and actually got into the restaurant business and went back to work. So that's right. kind of where we, where we came from. Did you compete KCBS or GBA or? We was actually Memphis and May. Memphis and May. Oh. Out in uh, South Georgia. Okay. okay. Yeah, got to go to Memphis three years, got invited to go there. So we were happy about that. Place well, had a good time. What smoker do y'all use here? We use, commercially, we use the old Hickory ELEDXs for consistency and quantity. We feel like it's, it's the best product that we can turn out on a, on a large scale. Okay. In competition, we do a little bit different things, but on the commercial side, that's that's what we use. Okay. And that's your smoker right there? That's one of them, yep. That's our pit master, Bobby. Hey, Bobby, how you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you? Good. Thank you, sir. Well, we're looking forward to getting in here. Uh, you know, one of the things that we always do, you're the first place that we've actually pulled up to and was able to see the smoker time we pulled in. Y'all are doing your thing, man. Bill, thank you again for taking the time out for us. Appreciate y'all coming in. Are you hey. Sir? hey. How you doing today? Good, how are you? Good. I will do the three meat plate. The two meats? Uh, three meat. Three meat? Uh, ribs, brisket, and pork. Look at that. macaroni and cheese, collard greens, but they had a cream of corn that I wanted to try. Um, they have the ribs, the brisket, and the pulled pork. Mr. Old Man couldn't wait to get started, so he has That's the, right. the turkey, the sausage, the sausage pulled, and pork, pulled pork, and you know he's going to get his baked beans and oak. Fried oak. So, what have you tasted already, Mr. Old Man? Well, I tried the uh, uh, pulled pork, and it is delicious. This fried okra it had to be fresh pulled, cut, and fried not more than an hour ago. That's how good it is. Now, I haven't tried the baked beans yet, and haven't uh, I've tasted the turkey. It is delicious, soft, tender, great flavor, and the sausage. I haven't tried it yet. Okay. All right. So, so like, like with you and your uh, collard greens, I am with the fried okra. So I stole his sausage and we're gonna have to try it out. <laughs> well, here's so Bill checking up on us. He bought us a good banana pudding. Yes, sir. So far, Bill, experience has been great, man. So go ahead and try to pull pork. We'll see, um, you know, they chopped it up. That's one of the first time for that experience. Um, chopped it and pulled it right in front of us. So. I'm very excited about it. Oh man, that's some good pork. Good pork. Nice smoky flavor to it. Tender. Very good pork. So what do you think about the sauce? Sausage is good. Um, nice smoky flavor to it. Um, you know, kind of the consistency you want and the flavor you want in the sausage. So it's good. So Bill came out and warned me against the the very hot, um, the very hot barbecue sauce. But Bill, we're daredevil, so we're gonna try you very hot and see how hot it really is.
it is very hot. Thank you for warning me, Bill. But it's very hot. All right, Mr. Dog Man. What's the review on the beans? Talk me with my mouth full. I know. The beans are out of sight. There's different kinds of beans. Mixed with some light pepper. And the taste is unbelievably barbecue. Nothing like it. All right, as y'all know, I always have to have my greens. Um, so we will taste those and see how they are. Mm. Man, these greens are some of the best that I've had while touring on, on our show, man. They have, they're very flavorful. Um, not bland at all, seasoned right. These are some good greens. All right, so let's try out the ribs now. Um, looks good, so let's see how it is. That's a good rib, man. Look at that bite, and the flavor on it is unbelievable. This is a real, this is a really good real. So I just put Mr. Old Man on the, <laughs> on the vinegar sauce. You know, they have a very really good Carolina vinegar sauce here. And I was, he was telling me he doesn't like vinegar. I said, man, taste it on your pork. Try it on your pork. What's the thing, Mr. Old Man? It is delicious. It is absolutely delicious. It's got a slight bite to it. You can't. You taste the vinegar, but it isn't overpowering like it is in some sauces. See? This is delicious. See? Now it changed your mind a little bit, doesn't it? No, you change your mind a lot. <laughs> That's what you get paid all the big bucks for. Whatever. <laughs> Introduce yourselves. I'm Kevin. This is my wife, Cheryl. It's our first visit to uh, Fired Up Barbecue. Some good southern barbecue. I highly recommend the ribs and the uh, collard greens. They were amazing. So on the scale of one to ten, what's the thing? I'd say the ribs were a nine and the collards was an eight. It was amazing. Good. Well, thank y'all. Thank y'all. This won't be the first time I'm here. Y'all have a good day. You too. You too. Good to meet you. Too. Just follow him on out. All right. So we have some beans from the on, some ribs. And there's inside of the smoker. Old Hickory. Reliable and true smoker. Day in and day out, 24 hours a day. So we cook ours fresh daily, so there's nothing comes out of the refrigerator or freezer. It's all done fresh daily. Okay. So on the average day, how many um, butts and briskets and ribs do you go through? It just depends on the day. You know, today we'll probably do 16, 18 briskets, probably 24 to 30 bucks. Wow. Slabs of ribs, gosh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Too many to count. Yeah, it's just quite a few. Because we cook our ribs twice daily. We cook early in the morning for lunch, and what he's putting on now will be for dinner, okay. plus the ones few we have left for lunch. We cook at 250, which is, you know, consistent. So tell us a little bit about your history on the pig jig we found out. Long time ago. I don't even remember it's been so long. Ah, being <laughs> modest, being modest, Bill. We was actually on a team called Cajun Cookers. Okay. Guys, guys from South Georgia and myself. And we started off cooking in a wood box. Cook a whole hog in a wood box, yep. Okay. And, uh, that's the way, kind of a Cajun style cooker. It was a little bit unique, different, so we, we got some good reviews and awards and won several state contests. Got invited to Memphis like three years in a row, so got to cook in Memphis in May. Okay. Just had a good time doing it. All right, so we have had Fired Up Barbecue, and Mr. Old Man, what did you think? I thought everything was fantastic. There wasn't a thing that was bad in place. 
If you come down 75 or going up 70, Interstate 75, stop by here. You'll absolutely love it. Yes, it is in Cartersville. And let me tell you, Bill was an excellent host. Um, his staff was friendly, uh, very attentive to everybody's needs. I mean, constantly somebody was come, one of the staff members was coming around to the table asking you, did you need anything? I mean, great customer service. That goes a long way yes. in any in industry. Everybody here had nothing but praise to say about the place. Um, for me, the ribs was definitely amazing. Uh, the ribs and the collard greens and the honorable mention, like, I love everybody know I'm partial to the collard greens. So you have collard greens, I'm you're gonna get my vote. But he has some cream of corn here, man, and it it's pretty good, man. I mean, if I would definitely try if you don't like macaroni and cheese or you don't like collard greens, have your second side as the cream of corn. Definitely good. That and the fried okra. And for him to outbeat the beans, fried okra had to be yes. good. Yes. Um have nothing but wonderful things to say about fired up barbecue we will be back if you're ever around in the cartersville area uh, make sure you stop in it'll be worth your trip tell bill claude and mr old man cinch all right so i was almost in the car and i overlooked it but saw something i hadn't seen in a long time check that out it is a payphone the question is does it have a dial tone or not so i was like man well, last time we seen a payphone, so let's check it out. No dial tone, so I guess payphones are a thing of the past. Mr. Old Man, that's a shout out to you. You know all about that air. <laughs>